Morning, everyone. Uh, this is our house church video for September the 24th. And uh, today we talked about Jesus in the service. I know that might sound like a little bit of a generalization, but if you were there, you know it was all about Jesus. And really, everything is about Jesus. That's what this whole message was about. That's what our whole lives are about. And today we actually just got a chance to dive deep into that through John, first, no, no, John chapter one, verses six to 18. I really want to encourage you to have a read over that if this isn't Sunday and you haven't just heard the message. And, uh, and then <clears throat> after you dive into it, start asking yourselves the questions that are going to come up at the end of the video. But it's all has to do with your relationship with Jesus and who Jesus is. Like, how personal is your relationship with Jesus? Sometimes, and myself included, it's really hard to develop a relationship with someone who you've never seen. But the message and, uh, and the truth of the word is that every time you see Jesus do something, say something, or be a certain way, that is who he is. That is how he is. And more than that, that's how our God is. Everything you see Jesus do and say is what God would do and say. We have a personal relationship with God because we know him and he knows us. And the person that that happens through is Jesus. And everything goes through him. He's our creator. He's our He's our friend. He's our mediator. He's our savior. He's everything. And that means that things change in our lives because of that. And we talked about that in the message as well, where, you know, if we say we believe in Jesus, then we ought to be doing something about that because faith is an action word. And so, you know, it goes from who Jesus is and the personal relationship that we have with him to do you believe that you have this personal relationship with him to what are you doing because of that personal relationship with Jesus? We talked a little bit about John the Baptist and the action that he had as he went through his life. He was the most important man ever born, and yet he was nothing because he was lined up with Jesus. That's the same in our life. And so are you speaking of Jesus? Are you talking of Jesus? Are you? Is your life as centered around Jesus as you want it to be? And if it's not, why not? And what can you change? Take care and have an excellent meeting.